Secondly, all universities, senior high schools, and basic schools, i.e. public and private schools, will be closed Monday, 16th of March, 2020, till further notice. Well, you know, we are students, and I was like, wow, at least I relaxed. I was very happy, very excited. Some of us had kids, like, so just wanted to vanish. So I felt disappointed. Aquaba, it's yet another day on my YouTube channel and thanks for passing through. In this video, I'm interacting with a couple of students. I visited a number of universities in Ghana. The University of Ghana, the University of Cape Coast, the University of Education Winneba and of course the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I tried interacting with some of the students there to find out from them how they felt about the president's decision to close down universities and other institutions across the countries. You know, somewhere in March, when the pandemic, that is the COVID-19, had entered the country about a week ago, the president addressed the nation for the first time concerning this pandemic. And in his address, he made it clear that he's closing universities and other institutions all over the country. I'm here to find out from the students how they felt when they heard that news, how they received it, how they reacted to it, and everything that you need to know. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. My name is MC Kobe. I'll be back shortly. My name is Jesse Benjamin. I'm Thomas Nadi. Yeah, my name is Gideon Flynn. Faso My name is Florence Takan. Thank you. Thank you both. I'm Jennifer. Eric is my name. I was in school. I was on campus. I was on campus and the president is going to close down the um, I was on campus here and uh, that was on Monday. We were supposed to have a lecture and uh, it was actually a Sunday rather. Yeah. And, and the next morning, which was Monday morning, we were supposed to have a lecture. Thank you, Ken Wesley. We were in school preparing for our mid set. Okay. I'm a student here, but I also have a house around, so I was in the house watching the news. But when the news from the president came that the administration should go down, so I was there and I heard it clearly. Okay, uh, I was at my hostel here, but due to the closure, I went to so I was at uh, for region. Well, actually, I was preparing for a quiz the next day. Okay. Yes, I was at the hostel studying. Okay. So when the news came, I was wondering if I was still writing the quiz or not. And so I was at my hostel by the when and the president brought the news that we should. I was in school. Actually, my hostel. I was at my hostel on campus. Well, you know, we are students, and that particular Sunday evening, I was really tired. I had to do a lot of things. So okay. I, even before I heard that the president be giving the speech, I felt like, hey, this morning lecture day, it was around 6.30. Oh, okay. I can't make it. I wish it to be cancelled. So when I heard the news that the hey, president you. is okay, giving the, the speech, <laughs> I was like, wow, at least I'll relax. But I didn't know it's going to be a very long term like okay. cancelled. Just like me. <laughs> so just for that particular moment, I... I was happy because I was going to relax, especially okay. I won't wake up early so that I could regain my strength. Oh, uh, I was somehow happy at the night when the news came, okay. but uh, we realized that it wasn't a good news at all after some time when it came that 
our time for uh, writing exams will be rescheduled. At that time, uh, we were at a part that we had the uh, climax of our project work, so we were waiting for our group to meet. Within that, we can then submit a chapter that we were told to submit. So uh, it was seems things were coming to an end, but uh, we encouraged ourselves because it was also somehow a release of stress. Okay. Uh, yeah. Initially, I was very happy. I was very happy, very excited. Uh -huh. Yes. Some of us had crises during the week, so we just wanted it to vanish. Okay. Yeah, so we were very happy. Then later, the whole thing just went upside down. Mm. Yeah, uh, the online class was not so effective. Okay. And then, like, we weren't able to really study as we wanted it. Now we we're keeping too long at home to need them to come and finish up. So that was very stressful. Well, initially, the excitement was there. I'm going back to think of the risks involved and many more. I was a little down, but you know we need to come, so okay. I guess we prepared and moved to campus. And what are some of the risks that you know? Yes. About? See how the virus is being spread. Sometimes it's a true body contact and many more. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they are even saying the max is not an assurance that you may not contract the mm -hmm. virus. So thinking of all that and moving from far away from Accra to Cape Coast. I thought of the risks involved. I was a little dumb, but you know, the joy of coming to write your final request to go back home is, is there. So mm -hmm. I just moved to campus immediately. Um, I felt very sad because I was a final year student. And, um, as a final year student in my final semester, I thought it will end successfully, but because of the COVID-19, when the president called down to close down schools, um, it was very sad. It was very sad. So, I, to me, it wasn't a good um, attention. It wasn't good to close down schools at that time because um, we are about to complete school. Uh, me, I was in level 400. I was about to complete school. And, um, I was a little bit shocked when the, when the president said that. First thing, he had so many assignments to do and other stuff. So, when you hear this, it's like, wow. But later on, after a month or so, we be in the house doing nothing and watching TV. We say that no manga to leave for study and we wish we come back, but <laughs> there's no school. Yeah, yeah as in, we about to complete it to about two months getting to exam, so as to complete. So I felt disappointed now. Oh, it was bad, it was bad because we were really prepared for the mistake. So it really affected us. A week later. Um, it took me one week. Two days later. You see, like I said, we have house up here. Yeah. So once the president said it, now nah, I was in the house. Oh, for me, the yeah. one week, a week. It took me three days, three days to pack. A week. Okay. So on Monday, when we heard the news, I wanted to stay on campus actually. At my hostel, we had issues with light bill. In fact, the brick rate is so it runs so fast. Oh. So due to that, I um, my landlord uh, asked of because of the COVID nineteen, perhaps most of the agents, uh, the prepaid agents, may not open. So as a result, we should buy in bulk for maybe the time being, and that would be costing much. And I wasn't willing to pay, so I decided to go home. So I left home on Wednesday. Okay, that was yeah. like after from three Monday, days. Yeah, Wednesday then I went home. I hope you enjoyed this interesting video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more interesting and educative videos. This is where I'll end this episode. But before I go, I'm humbly reminding you to take very good care of yourself, be safe, stay out of trouble. COVID-19 is not yet over. See you again in my next one. Bye-bye.